Hey guys, it's really late. We are at Floral Park. It's freezing. It was beautiful one day and it's freezing the next. So let's get in there and see what we can find new in Floral Park, guys. I don't know where these are coming from because they don't have any more and they were discarded in this box. These are by Prideful and I am really happy to find these, you guys. I wanna put these in my subby gift, but my video, well, I'm going to add them in. I haven't done the actual giveaway yet for domestic violence awareness. I'm not sure, but I'm going to add this to it. I'm not sure if you guys are going to see it in this video or my next one, but these are obviously in New York. What is the name of this? Oh, they don't have a name. This is a lip treatment mask. It is in lavender. This is awesome for a buck and a quarter. I'm psyched. Look at these. I don't know are they I think that they are pencils but it actually does say pen they're so cool you guys it's like a globe almost at the top like you're going on an adventure do you guys see how it's sort of celestial the print on the pen I really 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 like this pen a lot this awesome pen that I also just found in the Dollar Tree. These last couple of items that I'm sharing with you guys, I found, but they're not in this video because the video was already edited. I want to thank all of my subscribers and I would really like to give a special shout out to my channel members and donors. You're truly helping me to make a difference. Thank you. Some interesting books they have here. Tim O'Brien, bestselling author the things they carried it says that it's a stirring blend of memoir letters to his young sons and meditations on the humbling nature of parenthood dad's maybe book it actually seems like a cool book yeah i already showed you this one lightly how to live a simple serene and stress-free life i think this is such a cool book really cool then we have this one providence Cooking for a fast metabolism. Eat more food and lose more weight. That is cool. Fat burning recipes. Oh, wow. That looks cool too. Own your everyday. Overcome the pressure to prove and show up for what you were made to do. Sounds good to me. Then we have this one. The Preacher and the Presidents. Okay. Parenting outside the lines. Forget the rules, tap into your wisdom and connect with your child. That looks really cool too. They have some really cool titles lately. Broken Signposts, How Christianity Makes Sense of the World. Hmm. It says, How an Ancient Faith Explains Today's World. These seven broken signposts, justice, love, spirituality, beauty, freedom, truth, and power, need not remain elusive. By the power of the Spirit of Jesus, the Messiah, they can become genuine signposts, mended signals, missional marker posts. They will point clearly in the mercy of God. <laughs> Lots of faith-driven books lately. Then this one says, Volume Control Hearing in a Deafening World. Loving Your Place on the Spectrum. Oh, wow. A Neurodiversity Blueprint. Okay, so this is really cool. It's an inspirational guide to changing the stereotypical antiquated narratives that surround autism. And it's written by someone who is actually on the spectrum. And this one's my favorite, Smart Plants, Power Foods and Natural Nootropics for Optimized Thinking, Focus and Memory. Oh, I need that, includes 65 recipes. Now this, book definitely looks super cool very cool book I love cookbooks like this they make me really happy to thumb through and find something to make I love that now this is the first time that I'm seeing these napkins they are a 24 pack so cute really cute love the scene and then they have this Santa never saw that before either really super cute scene Again, 24 napkins for $1.25. I haven't seen the plates or anything else that goes with these yet. I'm seeing the Dollar Tree Holiday 2023 
treat bags and these are really cute the side panel is some sort of green then we have this kind of old-fashioned snowman looking print they're all really muted colors which I'm kind of surprised about this one is all cute puppies a really cute puppy print but again they're all really muted colors I'm really surprised that they didn't change it up with each style of bag this is a very cute deer print this may be my second favorite I actually really like the gnome print I wish it was more vibrant colored but this is the one that everyone's in love with and I can tell why it's the nicest I mean it's absolutely gorgeous handcrafted peppermint candy North Pole Supply, Bake Shop. I mean, you can make ornaments out of each and every one of these. You could do so many things with this. It's so cute. 10 for $1.25 is a great buy for those. But I don't know how I feel about the other prints. What are you guys thinking about these muted colored treat bags? It's just really different than anything they've ever done. We are in Garden City, you guys. Just look at how gorgeously they have set up their Christmas decor. There are so many signs that are back out again this year, but I like the way that they've put them out so you can actually see all of them because a lot of stores lay them out where they're one in front of the other and then you may not really see them all. They really have put them all out on display. They even put them down here at the bottom. And I kind of dig this Santa. I don't think I've seen this sign ever, ever before. It's really cute. Look at this Believe sign. It is so vintage and beautiful looking. It might be old. I don't know. I really like it. The fact that it's a wonderful life. You guys remember this one. I have this one, Merry and Bright. Okay guys, now we're at Garden City also. But I just want to show you what I'm seeing. Do you guys see the sign up there? Yep, it's going to be one of those crazy 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and $1 Thursdays. Walmart, Amazon, Costco, and Target. This is very exciting, you guys. You know how I love these stores. Oh, they're opening October 27th. It's going to be really hard for me to resist this every time I come here, especially on Thursdays. The Happy Holidays generic looking little clips for Christmas are back. I actually really like these. So cute and festive. And then they have these back as well. This is two separate clips. One is a wreath and the other one is a bow with Santa feet. But I love these. Which one do you guys love? Back in the Amityville store, you guys, it's a bit of a mess. But I have to tell you, I picked up one of these the other day. The Get Real Serum Foundation by Flower Beauty. This time I found it in the M4 Tawny and it is my absolute favorite one that I have found so far. It's like the perfect color and I'm really excited because they they retail for like 15 bucks each. It's a great buy to pick it up at the Dollar Tree. I do see that someone opened up the bold and bright lipstick. I think this one is the ruby red. Wow, once you open it, you don't know which color it is, but I'm pretty sure that one is the ruby red. I'm curious to see. It's a really nice color. It actually smells so good. I could smell it from here. It smells like candy. Wow, these are by the brand Fingers and they are nail wraps. Look at them. They're so cool. You get 24 full color strips these are like a boho purple print really cool and then these are like fishnet for your fingernails with bling wow those are cool too that's pretty great for a buck and a quarter hey guys we're at the dollar tree in comac you guys know that whenever we come here it is an awesome dollar tree shopping experience let's get in there i can't wait to see what we find so i'm kind of shocked to find the itk here in new york in the comac store actually they were all shoved behind the bolero soothing clay face masks that have been here for ages they were all shoved back there and i just happened to notice them but they do have quite a bit of them and if you're looking for them the in the know broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen 
setting mist that actually sells for way more than $1.25. They've got it here and I hear really good things about it. I bought it and I definitely tried it out. It didn't irritate my skin. It's a good buy for a buck and a quarter. Oh my gosh, you guys, from the same company, Della Natura, that we saw the pitted Kalmata olives, I am seeing green and black olive tapenade and green olive and red pepper tapenade. Now those are amazing little dollar 25 purchases let's take a look at the ingredients shall we because i'm just curious to see what's really going on here hmm, 55 milligrams of salt not too bad for two tablespoons but regardless you can't really eat a lot of this green olive paste black olive paste sunflower oil garlic paste citric acid Wow, not bad. It's a product of Peru. This is so cool. These are like four and five dollars in specialty stores. I'm kind of psyched to find this for a buck and a quarter. I don't ever remember seeing this either. Okay, so it's by Dole, which automatically makes me happy because it doesn't have any of those crazy weird warnings all over it. It says that it may contain pits. That's okay. This is mixed fruit in black cherry flavored gel, naturally and artificially flavored. It does have a little fork in the lid and it's $1.25 for one. I'm not sure what these retail for, but it's still a nice little item if you're looking for a snack. They do have the Pampa mixed fruit and light syrup right next to it, which is also packaged for easy opening and lunchtime snacking. Oh, they brought back the pineapple mustard which I actually like um, for marinating certain items I've used it in the past and it's pretty good it makes an exciting kind of interesting chicken dish and then the sweet hot mustard by old world quality foods that they always bring in for the create a gift basket but I have to say that the olive tapenade is definitely a nice little addition to a foodie gift basket so this is a metal can that has the pop top baking powder I don't think I've ever seen this before the last time I bought baking powder from the Dollar Tree it was in like a cardboard container but this is definitely metal I'm not sure if that's better for storing it but they have baking powder here at the Dollar Tree and they have restocked the butcher boy pure refined coconut oil non GMO which I happen to like actually for Skin care and hair care, it's pretty cool to do all sorts of facial stuff Dollar with this. Tree is absolutely oil. stuffing our stockings as quickly as possible. I gotta tell you guys, last year I really got addicted to the Sweet Chaos Drizzled Peppermint Crunch Popcorn. I love anything peppermint, absolutely love it. I like to put it in my coffee, my hot cocoa. They also have the candy corn here, which we've already seen. They brought this out for the fall and the pumpkin spice drizzled popcorn. The Sweet Chaos is really a good brand, you guys. It's non-GMO popped in coconut oil, really a good product. And they also have the black and white sugar cookie. So the peppermint crunch and the black and white sugar cookie, those are supposedly for Christmas or the winter season. And these are for the fall. And they brought those back and I happen to love them. Even though a buck and a quarter is kind of steep it's worth it this is new it does say frankfurt which is kind of cool these are santa hot chocolate bombs they're little 0.71 ounce made with belgian chocolate hmm you might need two honestly it looks really little it says that the chocolate is made in belgian and then molded and packed in china i bet it's good the last time that they brought Belgian chocolate and well they were giving us a lot more I'm not sure haven't have any of you guys tried this the packaging is really cute but we also have these hot cocoa balls and this is peppermint mm, milk chocolate with marshmallows hot cocoa ball again the packaging is really delightful but this is not saying that it's made in Belgium this is Mexico it looks cool though and they also have just regular milk chocolate with marshmallows. I wasn't a huge fan of the hot cocoa 
uh, bombs that they made last year. But I have a funny feeling that this Santa one is gonna be a game changer. Look at all the cute little North Pole pals. These are Palmer chocolate. We've got this adorable reindeer, a penguin, sea lion. It looks like that's all there is. <gasps> oh, I saw Sweet Sadie J show this. Oh my God, I've been on the hunt for this. It says, were you naughty or nice this year? Black berry and black cherry. Oh yeah, it's on. I am I have to restrain myself, you guys. <laughs> or those of you who don't know, dots are my secret kryptonite. I cannot be left alone in a room with dots. They've made these before, the cherry, green apple, lime, and strawberry. And I loved those too, but this... These sound really good. I love black cherry and blackberry. These are gonna be delicious. Now this I've never seen before and I'm really into this packaging. I think it looks like it costs a few bucks at least. There's only three pieces of chocolate, but, it, but it's Russell Stover, an American classic since 1923, milk and dark chocolate. You get three pieces, one milk chocolate truffle, one dark chocolate caramel, oh, and one milk chocolate pecan delight. You know what? This is cool, actually. This is a nice $1.25 stocking stuffer, but I will say that these Barton's peanut butter clusters, you guys, the packaging is off the hook. You get three ounces. I believe you get six in here. These are delicious, absolutely delicious. These make great gifts. I have bought hundreds and hundreds of these over the years. They are absolutely great gifts in family donation baskets and stuff like that. Absolutely wonderful. I personally love the Sella's three pieces of actual chocolate covered cherries because I don't like the other one that has that liquid in it only. I love these that have a real cherry in them. These are so good. I actually think they're worth a buck and a quarter. Then they have this hot cocoa for you by Nestle. That's a cute thing to put in a mug and for $2.50 you're done. It may not be the best deal, I guess. They do have different, um, if it's not for someone who celebrates Christmas, but celebrates Hanukkah or something, you can even get the snowman and it's a 250 gift if you get a mug, obviously. Then you have a four pack of Kool-Aid Snow Day popping candy. Oh, that looks good actually. Berry Berry. <laughs> Kids love things like that. Great for stocking stuffing. Then we have the Santa Lip Pops. Those are cute. It's a beard. And we have Rudolph's Red Nose. Those are both adorable. Cute for kids. Kids will really get a kick out of these little extras. Then they have the Rudolph Gummies. I have definitely tried those in years gone by. I'm not sure if I remember the Frosty the Snowman Gummies, but they may have had them. Oh, this is a Santa sack of assorted stuff. This is definitely something they're trying new because it's an assortment of chocolate usually they make you buy the bag separate peanut butter double crisp and fudge all in this one little bag that's cute for a little treat bag or to put in the mug and for 250 you've got a gift and done they brought the garibaldi two squares for a dollar 25 it's not exactly the cheapest deal but again it's convenient and that that makes me happy they brought the barton's million dollar bar not bad they did have that last year it's pretty decent tasting chocolate the hershey's kisses oh these the sherwood six piece truffles these are good you guys premium milk chocolate with caramel filling they're actually too good and they also have the premium dark chocolate truffles three ounce box also a great deal and you do get six pieces in here which makes it a better deal than most of the items that you're getting this one is my absolute favorite i just cannot have it i am so allergic to it but i really really do like it and i love the packaging as well these are the white chocolate and strawberry cream i'm so allergic to those and just in case you guys didn't know there's two different ones of these they have the Barton's Caramel Peanut Crisp Clusters as well as the Peanut Butter Clusters. They're both so, so good. Also seeing these again, and I love these Sweet Christmas Marshmallows in three different shapes. They come in the tree shape, the candy cane shape, and the snowman shape. They look so cute in a jar and even better floating around in your hot cocoa. These are so 
yummy really soft and delicious now i'm also seeing these marshmallow candy santas these are hard as a rock i guess maybe they're supposed to be but i don't know how i feel about this whole new marshmallow candy craze we had those other like candies the other day that i tested out my son liked them but i didn't love them then we have the gummy blocks the seasonal edition Oh, they changed the actual configuration. These are really cute. Look, I'm completely loving this packaging. Look at how cute it is. They have like the suggestion of a tr of a Christmas tree, a candy cane. You're going to need a bunch of boxes of these in order to make anything, but they're definitely really, really cool because they're 4D. Like they have all the dimensions plus they're delicious. Get that 3D plus delicious. I love it. I think that that is so witty. And they brought in their double bubble holiday colored gumballs. Those are super cute too. And you can put them in your gumball machines and they look adorable and festive. And they usually bring those little mini gumball machines into the Dollar Tree. And I'm seeing these stirring spoons and we all know that they are not very yummy, but I know that there are new ones out by the Girl Scouts and I'm on the hunt for that. So I'm really in awe of the way that a lot of the stores are putting their decor out this year. They're just slicing the boxes open and tossing everything out in the center of the aisles. It's really different than anything I'm used to seeing because they are making space for all those plus items. They're just changing the way that they've done things. We've always seen these tinsel characters. Well, not always, of course, the gnomes were a recent addition in the last few years but the elves have always been out but last year they gave us the gingerbread men and i was hoping that i would see some gingerbread women but you can always convert them with a bow i just think they're so cute i love these i'm finally seeing the new sled and it's so adorable i love that it's metal and it's bigger than it's ever been before these are really nice they have this pretty, well, some of them are a little better looking than others, but they do have glittery holly on both ends and a little tea light holder. They come in the gold, they come in the silver, they come in the red. I feel like you can pop this part out and turn them into napkin holders. I kind of like to do that all the time. I like to make napkin holders for every season. I don't know why that is, but I do. Wow. I am in a state of shock. I swear that ever since I had my meltdown and disclosed that I am in recovery, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, they have new recovery themed canvases. Look at this. Keep it simple and one day at a time. I mean, come on. It's the quintessential recovery statement. One day at a time. These are awesome gifts. They are prettier than the ones that I scored the last time and I am completely in love with this entire box of canvases. This is my lucky store when it comes to canvases. I am so excited. Look at this, you guys. This collection is so beautiful. We have this pretty, pretty deer or buck, I'm not sure, but it's entirely made of flowers. These would be perfect for that whole cubby hole, um, DIY that I want to do. Then we have the gorgeous bicycle. So we have a bicycle and we have the deer and there's another one. We have this beautiful watering can with these gorgeous daisies in it. All three of those are making me beyond happy. How gorgeous is that? For $1.25 each, $3.75, you have a whole gallery wall happening. Then look at these. These are also gorgeous. They kind of go together. I feel like they would be cool in a gallery wall or maybe separated out, but they're also really, really beautiful. I am i don't know, I love this box of canvases. They're outrageously nice. And look at this one, you guys. You have this gorgeous butterfly and it's just flying around and it's like, oh, beautiful bouquet of flowers. I think I'll smell those flowers. And then boom, the butterfly with the flowers. It's like a whole story. Isn't that amazing? Dollar Tree is really making the most absolutely fantastic canvases lately. They're just blowing my mind. Comac by the bowling alley. Sadly, they did get in. 
more of the Get Real in the Deep Golden D26, which we have not seen yet. So they're bringing in a whole lot of these colors, but they're not closing the lids tightly and they are exploding. And it's such a shame because this Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation is one of the best Dollar Trees ever brought in. I absolutely love the formula. They do have the Erica, which we've seen in a bunch of different locations. Again, that is, right now we're by the bowling alley, that one. And they have the Versage, which seems to have gone everywhere. I love it. We can take a little glimpse into their makeup department. They do still have a bit of the beauty intuition, the moody neutrals, the rosy nudes, and the metallic brights. And these are flying off the shelf. So they really literally have about 15 of them left on the shelf. They're so good for gifts. I have to tell you guys, these lipsticks and the lip glosses are incredible. Wait till you guys test them out. Definitely grab a couple. They are very nice and they smell like chocolate. They're really, really nice. And oh, this, I love this product. This is a great product. The nail polish remover pen. Really, really good, good product. I'm so happy they brought this in. And they have brought in the brush on glue again, which I told you guys I was really happy to see. Look at these, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with the star. And I love this alligator clip is super pretty, dazzling and perfect for the holidays. Isn't that gorgeous? Then I'm also seeing these star clips. That would be kind of interesting depending on where we're going. But I mean, these are super so gorgeous. I love this. Look at these. These have like a really high end kind of French look to them. I don't know. Whenever I see this type of clip, I always think that they're made in France. I think that because the J. Crew ones were made in France actually, and they give me that J. Crew vibe. They're really, really nice, really super smooth. They feel like they are high quality for just $1.25. If you repackage these, these would look super duper boutique on a budget. I would love to gift. This is one of my absolute favorite headbands that the Dollar Tree made this year. I think it's outstanding and I love the contrasting colors of these. These are actual spring clips too. I don't think I mentioned that, which makes them even more high-end looking. This would be a nice collection of items to put pretty wrapped in a box take them off of the dollar tree repackaging and really do them up for that 375 those would look super high end guys you know how much i love these candlesticks i love them when they came out in black and i really love them in the gold as well and i was taking out my holiday decor to see what i have when i realized that this is something crazy that I just realized actually works. The Dollar Tree sells these bells year after year, one for $1.25, and they have this little greenery that you can flip around, and it has like a little base. You guys see that? See that little tiny, I guess like protruding thing? Well, look at that, you guys. All you have to do is flip the bell over. That's it, just flip the bell over, and well, you flip this the other way, and glue it in there, and you have a gorgeous candle holder that you could put a tea light in, color changing, anything you want. The candles come in black as well. You can spray paint them any color, and the bells come in silver, and they come in red. I would love black and red, but I think I'm definitely gonna make a set of these because I already have all of the things at home and I just realized that it works. It's awesome. Well, I really and truly hope that the Dollar Tree listens to me and this holiday season comes out with mommy and me versions of these nails because I want the mommy version of these. Look at these B color mini nails. Look at them, cute little rainbows, glitter. I want the adult mommy version of these. Oh, they're press on. There's no glue needed. And look at this strawberry one. It's my absolute favorite. Isn't that gorgeous? So adorable. Well, little girl doesn't want those. And we have seen this before, but they've got tons of it here as well. The compare to got to be glued styling spiking glue. 
perfect for the holidays to get the kids picture ready for just a dollar 25 is much cheaper and i've heard good things so yeah they've got tons of these i thought that these would end up being a dollar but it has not happened yet seeing this display and i'm in the hat pack store what i don't understand is i don't remember if this is the exact same one that they had in the past this is the lip scrubber tool then we have the peppermint lip scrub and the peppermint lip oil but did we have the peppermint before or was it tea tree why i know they changed the packaging for sure because i don't recognize it and i know that it was green and they did have like a mango one but was it peppermint before because peppermint oil i feel like i would have loved this why haven't i been using this all this while let me know in the comments down below if you remember the one that they had before and if it was also peppermint they also have the essentially ageless collection here and you guys i am loving loving this product absolutely loving it never seen these before conair pompadour combs i remember they had something similar that pennied out it looked really similar to this actually this looks better and i've never seen these before these are definitely new it says six pieces from flat to fabulous and what it is is one comb and five bobby pins still it looks pretty cool they've also got yeah it's the same thing con air mini buns oh my gosh those are cute those would have been perfect for princess leia halloween looks for just a dollar 25 you get two how cool is that I've never seen this book before and it is so, so cool, you guys. I love this book. It says, all of this is for you, a little book of kindness. It is really adorable. It says, this can all feel so overwhelming sometimes and it has speech bubbles. It won't be like this forever. Oh my God, this is really cool. Be gentle with yourself. I love this book. Every moment spent alone is a chance to grow. Oh, wow. Stay up late, wake up early, pick flowers, watch the sky, swim, dance, read, eat fresh fruit, slow down. Life is a balancing act. You are not your negative thoughts. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm buying this. I absolutely love this. It's a wonderful, wonderful, cute book, great gift. Nothing can prepare us for people leaving early. Grief will come in waves but the waves will subside and the sun will still rise. Oh, wow, this is a great book. Great for when people are going through stuff. Please don't leave. The world needs good people like you in it. Oh my gosh, what is this all about? It's so good. No matter the individual issue, whether it's loneliness, self-image, grief, or anxiety, we all struggle with challenges. Jones, tender illustrations and soothing insights are a reminder of humanity's inherent and enduring goodness and a breath of fresh air during tough times. Oh, what? This is a very, very cool, cool book find. I'm not seeing any others. I think I'm going to pick this up and put it in a future subscriber appreciation gift. It's really a lovely book. And then there's this book. It says, How Faith in Nature's Goodness Leads to Harmful Fads, Unjust Laws, and Flawed Science. Quote, unquote, natural. Hmm. Not sure about that one. This is a really interesting book. I feel like it's kind of controversial, but if you want to go on and read it, you can. But that's kind of interesting to me as well. The Power of Small. I love, I love books like this. And oh my goodness, this one is my favorite for sure. Pig Beach Barbecue Cookbook. Oh boy, the boys are going to love, love this one. Ever since my husband has become a chef, he's definitely going to like this. I'm going to grab this and definitely grabbing this one. I showed you guys these gorgeous candles in my previous walkthrough. The snow-capped fur. On the inside, it's like laminated on the glass, but the boxes, you guys, pomegranate punch. These are beautiful. Spiced orange cranberry. 
and they have the berries and evergreen. They are so pretty, make great gifts. That's it guys, have you guys found anything amazing lately? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like this video and please make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe. Stay safe and stay savvy guys, bye bye.